But yeah, I'm back, man. This was supposed to be um, part two to me just reaching out and um, speaking to a lot of artists and the independent artists. And um, like I said, I was gonna use one guy particular, one guy in particular situation of him venting out there on social media and Instagram. Unfortunately, due to me getting back to the video and redoing this situation, the video is no longer available, so I can't play it him talking so that y'all can feel his pain and his frustrations but i can just finish elaborating on what i was saying in part one which is um i think i ended the video ended on um me not being frustrated with people at events not calling me out or acknowledging me even though i've been doing it for a long time and stuff so if I can see some type of understanding in that situation, then I would expect for other people to see some type of understanding in, in that situation and stuff. Even though I was young at the time and I had time to give, um, a lot of us coming into that, that this Atlanta market, we already up in age, so we really don't have 15, 20 years to kind of give to the game, you, you know. Um, so with that being said, I, I, I can see frustration on both sides, but, um, Toward the end of the video, I was sort of sort of trying to elaborate on why it would be beneficial for people who are in the game to take the time out to acknowledge certain people when they're in the building. And, and that's what the music game is missing. You know, they're missing that key element because here you is, you go to these events and these people know that there's people that's amongst their circle who can do a bigger and better job than what they done did, but they don't want to let the people know that because they might feel like that person gonna go with them and spend some money with them. And and the problem is that it, it hurts the artist. It, it, it really does because the artists don't never know what key figures is at those events that make other people so happy about being at those events. You know, um, every event I go to, I might not be on that on that flyer that they put out um i might not get no shout out but i guarantee at those events i'm, I'm the life of, i'm the life you know anybody that then sat down and had a conversation with me i bought them some energy and when, when and when i left them around them they their energy was higher than what it was when i touched them before i touched them so you, you know and, and stuff like that can't be duplicated because a lot of times when they when when i meet a lot of them um at these showcases they are in a position where they're they come with a lot of energy they be hyped up yeah yeah it could be my big day i got dig going on whoop the whoop the whoop they out there selling everything and then the, the show begin and they be like man i don't want to go on right now this is their mentality i don't want to go on right now i'm just gonna wait till they get real packed out and just start to jump and i'm just gonna rock it because in their head they 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 they, they, they um they see them performing it's just the height of an event, you know. If if this club is Jay Big in their mind that the the whole it's gonna be wall to wall and people are just gonna be jumping to their music, and, and that's what they're, they're thinking and, and stuff. So, um, so I see that I, I see that excitement. I see that excitement. Then the night goes on. They 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 somehow they they ready to go on, but they don't realize that now they're in, they're in prime time. And if the event was worth them paying money and there was some big headliners, them, 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 them big headliners are going to get that prime time. You know, whoever, out of the big headliners get it, whoever can pay the most is going get to get the rest of the slot. It's, time is limited. You, you know, we all got the same amount of time. You know, when, when it's 7 o'clock and, and, and it's over at 8, we all got that same hourly time out there. You know what I'm saying? So, we, 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 and, and, so somebody got to get it and, and stuff. Forgive me, I'm still down here in Augusta, Georgia. Um, you know, I'm headed back to Atlanta pretty soon. Um, just down here doing some more, doing some more work. But, but um, that's some that's some prime prime time. So so now the artists looking like they they looking like man, I want to go home right now, but they getting stretched out. Ten o'clock hit, eleven o'clock hit, twelve o'clock hit. They started looking like man, I don't. I be talking to him, man. When you when you going on, man? I don't know, man. I'm, I'm trying to get. I'm trying to find out now. What should I do? They ask me, what should they do, and, and stuff. I don't. 
I, I know both sides. I already know at the end of the day, hey, man, you, you're going to have to wait, man. You, I done talked about 10 more other artists. You all in the same boat. <laughs> y'all in the same boat. So all y'all can't go on right now. And right now, I know it's, it's still some heavy hitters that ain't even came in yet that's going to come in and they're going to get on that stage ASAP. They're not going to have to wait. They're not going to. So that's going to push your time back. So here it is, 2, 3 in, in the morning, and, and they're just not getting ready to go on, and there's really nobody in the club because at the prime time, if you at the prime time, people perform, they leave. After that main headline to get through performing, everybody else leave and stuff, and, 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 and that's where I kick in, you know, because I'm that one that's, that's talking to the artist and, and, and still there with them and, and, and they have excitement and we're looking at each other and I'm telling them, hey man, as long as you got the footage, man, hey, we can make the best of it. We can do whatever we need to do and, and whatnot. But I bring that spirit and I bring that energy there. And um, that's what we got to get back into the game so that we can let the artists know who are these key people that are behind the scenes at our events that can help you. So I'm saying that to say that to the people that's that's out there, man. If you're in that position as a promoter, um you're you're an artist. If you're an artist yourself, you should you should you should not be trying to fully get over an artist, man, because you should understand what it feel like. You, you know, how it feel and, and uh I'm quite sure it's not a good feeling. You know, especially when you done bought all your friends out you know about 20 30 something of your friends out they come see you perform and shit they they got drugged too they gotta sit there with you you know four five hours and they're just gonna sit there whatever comes with sitting there they gotta sit there and watch if it's some boring comedians right there they gotta sit down and listen to some boring comedians if it's some boring rappers rapping that off the wall stuff and they need to get gone they're gonna have to sit there and watch it uh, they they they're around the spirit too, you know. So, but um, remember how that feel for you to bring all them people out. You didn't win, worked all week. You didn't took your money, and, and and you didn't win and put it into um, you just went and put it into a wardrobe, and you didn't win and put it into paying the cost of doing this, moving around with the music, and your return is for you to perform in front of nobody because everybody left. Everybody left. So artists get frustrated and, and stuff. And um they, they they don't see they did they didn't win. They most definitely a lot of them gonna get frustrated when they when they felt like they should have won a showcase. Especially if they were looking at like the money. Like they would like there was a money prize on, on the table and um they felt like they were better. And and, and that's a hard that's a hard um situation the 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 measure right there because everybody's gonna feel like they're better than the next person so you always gonna have somebody that's gonna be mad at the situation so but there's ways around uh there's ways around that you, you know i guarantee a person might not be happy that they didn't win but if you made them feel comfortable at, the, at your showcase and not just you, you know shout their name out why 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 are they just sitting there waiting you know, stuff like that will help the game, will make the artist feel more comfortable. Because at the end of the day, it, it really is about the artist. That's the product and stuff. And I don't want y'all artists to hear what I'm saying and let this go to y'all big head. Because at the end of the day, a product ain't nothing without the money to be able to, to, to be able to kind of... The money and the knowledge and, 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 and to be able to get a return up on that product. You, you understand? So, but... um. We have to make sure that we find ways to make sure that we keep the artists happy and stuff, and 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 that that's one of them because cause they frustrated, they they frustrated. So why they at these events? Take some time out, call their name out over the mic. Uh, man, if, if they're if they're a heavy hitter, if they're a heavy hitter, I, I at least say they need to deserve at least two minutes of 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 their music being played just to remind the people who is in, in the building and who is they around and who they need to connect. Because people don't know. People don't know. You can scream out certain people's name and they still won't know who, who those people are and what song relates to them. They have to hear that song. And then that will bring that feeling and that trigger up inside them that's going to release a wave of energy that's going to make them feel, I guess, a little bit more happy. 
and, and stuff and happy people they spend they happy people people spend money on stuff that they feel happy about right now artists just don't feel happy because the return on investment is horrible you know i see it every night i'm i'm, I'm out there with them and, and the return on it is very horrible you, you know the, um It's just horrible. I, I mean, what spending anywhere from two hundred to a thousand thousand dollars just to get out there and move around and and, and um, showcase. And, and in certain situations, sometimes, man, artists is man. Y'all have y'all birthday and y'all want to mix it with the music and everything else and stuff and uh it gets very confusing because here it is you, you're giving out a lot of money because you got to pay for the vip section you got to pay for um the alcohol you got to pay for a lot of stuff that comes with, with that the um parking you know the parking is in atlanta it, it you can't play with that parking here i mean that parking hill make you ride with some people that you don't want to ride with. You know this nigga hot. You don't want to ride with him. Nah, for real. real. You know this nigga hot. You know this nigga ain't going to claim it dope. Ain't going to claim his gun. But you look at it like, shit. I drive my goddamn car. I'm going to get these folks that fresh fit for parking. Let me just hop in his car. And I'm just going to ride with him. He's going to get me safely from, from to the club. But here's the problem. Once you come out the club. And they been in there drinking and doing that. You got to ride with him. You know he hot. Look, he want and he want to show out. He want to just gun the car and do all that young boy stuff. And I get it. I was young like that too. But what I'm trying to say is, parking is so high that it will make somebody who know all of this still take a chance with riding with somebody else. You know, um, it's it's crazy. But that's part of the bill that you cost to move around and stuff. And, and ain't nobody feeling sorry for you. In the city of Atlanta when it comes to that music game. So, uh, me, I'm just touching up on the fact that the video that he put out, um, it touched me in a way because he said, who's going to be an advocate for the independent artist? And the reason I was trying to highlight the stuff that I did for him in part one and just give y'all a, a, just some brief background of that situation is to understand that I've been helping artists for a long time. And um, I, I think artists need to understand who I am and the people that are listening to this and watching this. We need to make sure that they understand who I am, who Grind is, and what level Grind is on, and what type of treatment Grind should get when he come through. We need to make sure that that is understood, that Grind is one of the original ones, and and um, he need that utmost treatment. He, he need that red carpet rolled out. He, he, he need that... Uh, Cause, Cause, he's gonna be the one that's gonna help the independent artists the next wave. You, you know, y'all gotta understand. A lot of people stay afloat up, up at, up at the next level off the next wave. You, you, you know, that when that wave come on in, start pushing that water. You know, um, they ride it, they ride it, and when that wave die down, they, they, they sit down surfing, wait for the next wave to come, come back, and they try to catch on that wave so they can ride that wave again. And, but. A lot of those waves that started with small motion and turned into a, some big motion, it, it, you know, grind stamp has been up on a lot of it and, and stuff. You can't change that here in the city of Atlanta and stuff. So, <sighs> so with that being said, I'm going to start doing more of these situations where I sit down and I, I, I kind of come and talk to you all, especially in my free time when I'm moving around and, and I'm not being still. You know, I'm down here in Augusta. Um, I, I got my laptop to do a little work, but I'm not at home, so I can work in my own comfort of my thing. So I felt like after seeing that video on IG and just speaking up on it and, and trying to be, become that figure that artists can turn to for help and stuff. Because um, I know I be hard on artists a lot because I, I look at it like at the end of the day, it's still boiled down to you as an artist to understand nobody should have to tell you what a gift is you should be able to recognize what a gift is and some of you guys have gift and y'all treat y'all gift like dang shit and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm telling you from my standpoint and me in street zone standpoint two guys in a camera standpoint you know y'all can have a plug right there in y'all face and y'all would still do all the wrong stuff y'all would do the stuff that y'all wouldn't do to the white people 
You understand what I'm saying? You wouldn't do that to the white folks. Don't do it to the black people. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, and, and it takes money. You, you know, your word is your word. You, you, you know, if you sit here and say, hey, how much for such and such? And, and um, somebody gives you a price and somebody comes and does that service and, and you don't pay them and you send them off to go do something else, you, you, you know, you're, you're not doing right because at the end of the day, nobody wants to work and, and, and not see the money, you, you know, uh, especially what y'all agreed on and stuff. Nobody want to be um, stuck at no event and you just don't want to be there at the event and you, and you, you don't get paid at the end of the event. So I'm saying that in the aspect of the artist itself, that's fall back up on you. That that has nothing to do with nobody not wanting you to let you in the game. It has nothing to do with the music situation. It has brought back down to that you, you practice bad business with some key resources and some key people who can really help you. You, you understand? Uh, you, you know... I, I, even in the dope terminology, and I hate to use that that word, but even in that game, you can't have a plug and then turn around and think that you're not gonna pay that plug that money. He done bought you some stuff at a price way cheaper than everybody else, and you he he, he you he get over there and you play with him. Well, man, I ain't, I ain't got all of it, man. I, ain't, I just got some of it, man. Huh? Let me just give you the the money later on. He's gonna look at it like, like, no, nah, man, because I'm already cutting it down to a bare minimum. And on top of that, I'm I'm I'm, I'm taking risks. You know, I'm taking risks. You know, ain't nothing safe. Ain't nothing safe. I'm at these events filming for some of these people, man. All of them got guns, no security. You ain't got the, if you do got security, your homeboy the security and stuff. And he out there, he ain't finna go against the grain. He So he he's just gonna barely pat whoever he need to pat down. But the right ones, he's not gonna pat them down and, and stuff. And uh, so I'm at these type of situations and, and you know, and, and, the alcohol is there, and, and and I stay prayed up, and you know, in that aspect that you, you know God got me, so I, I don't sort of worry, you know, because I'm still there. I still go to these events, but but I do try to make sure that you know I do acknowledge that I need to be covered and, and stuff. I, I'm not going in just stupid and thinking that I'm not gonna try to cover myself in the full armor of God and. Um, be out there playing around with some with some with some lost demons and, and stuff, some lost and, and stuff. So, but but yeah, it, it most definitely kind of wicked outside and stuff. And going out there to do a job and and, and you got to deal with that. And then at the end, a joker is not have, joker don't have the money for you. You know you you don't you don't really get mad at him. You just, you just stop doing business with them. You know when they call your phone, you just don't, you just don't want to be bothered with them. You just don't answer the phone. And and that's the last thing you need as an artist for you to lose that type of connection in the game. So that's what I'm trying to get artists some game on right now. I know it took a while for me to wrap all of this up and get to that point, but artists, y'all got to recognize who is a blessing. I know I'm a blessing. If you're watching this with grinding, you don't know what I got going on. Do your research. I'm a blessing. I'm a blessing. I create motion. I create motion. You know, we and the good thing about a person that create motion, you ain't gotta ride nobody else's motion. You you, you can create your own motion. Just reach out to me, and, and, and it does take motion. It does take some money to create that motion. You know, so and, and, and I don't, I ain't cheap no more. I'm, you know, I'm just telling y'all just like that. You know, um, I used to have big hopes that a person would get on and and and, and um. They would kind of bring me on and put me in a position, but there's no position for, there's no specific position for some people to put me in to that's gonna match what's going on in that arena right right about now. That that's that 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 what's going on over there. You you know I don't I don't want to be around. For me for me it just feel like I don't fit in with a lot of those type of guys in in, in that position and over in, in that area 
and stuff. And uh, I most definitely can't condone to suck stuff, and I most definitely can't. Yeah, I, I yeah, I ain't, yeah, I ain't with all that 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 the stuff that the, the, the embarrassing of, of the embarrassment of your manhood. Yeah, I ain't with all of, all of that just to get to the, to the next level. So, the people that's out there. Hey, what can I say? <laughs> I'm happy. I'm content where I'm at, and I'm blessed. I'm blessed because I don't. I just don't want to be over there. So, I'm here, and I'm giving. The, and I'm, I'm giving the game, not just get too thrown off and, and stuff. And I'm here, man. I'm here to help the independent artists. I'm here to help the independent artists and um, y'all, 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 young man out there, older man, um. Just don't give up on y'all music career, man. Stay focused and keep keep working hard, and um, opportunities are gonna come. And and just recognize who who is who, recognize who is who, and so that y'all can, so that you can utilize that person to get you to the next level. That's that's my advice. That's my advice. And, and, and y'all people that's out there, that's helping these artists. Help them the right way. Let them know who is who and who they need to be paying. Let them know, not just paying just you. You trying to get all the money up off the artist, cause, cause, cause you if you trying to get all the money off the artist and you're not allowing him to diversify his money amongst other people, then chances of him blowing it is not. He's not gonna blow. So now we don't have no people to say we broke. Right now, that's that's what people are saying. Like. Like, all y'all people out here talking about y'all break people. Who has been broke in the city of Atlanta in the last, it's been a while. Who, who? Who has been broke? And and, and that's what people say to me. You know, um, of course, I, I know me, with me being in the game and so heavy in the game, I can say some hot people with a movement that at any given moment they can break. But those, those people are... are, are I hate to say it, but those people are, are, their management don't know what's going on fully. Their management, they need to hear what I'm saying right now and take that in in, 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 in consideration. Like, like, yeah, you took 5000 you went over there and got some management consulting with this person, then you took 10000 20000 like you put all your money in one basket. You shouldn't have did that. And, and I know these companies have a full service uh, of things that they can arrange to give to you, but... That ain't that ain't that ain't it, man. You, you gotta get them. You gotta get them, cause cause, cause you gotta get them to, to come a part of you as a team. And, and okay, they do a certain part, but as on on the basketball team, you still got three other players on there, three other three other people that you need to find to fill that void. And you don't try to make them that one person do everything, get the rebound. Play point guard, play power for it. No, look, we're gonna get you. You're gonna be the guy that's gonna bring the ball down. You two, you two guys gonna be responsible for bringing the ball down. You big man, you responsible for getting that rebound. You crashing the boards, offense and defense. And on defense, somebody coming in that middle, big boy, you need to stand up and block and, and stuff. And, but you're moving around with, with a team and, and stuff. And uh, I think people. Artists who who um are people that's in a position to give these artists that advice or whether it's artists themselves, let them know who who they should be paying. Yeah, let them know, let them know that this, this is part of your team. You need to get him. You hired me too, but you need to get this person too. Cause that's what I do. I I, I, I send money to a lot of people that I race him, but and stuff, and they might not even understand what I'm what I'm that I was the one that did it. You you know, um. Artists just call me all the time. They want that consultant fee. Hey, man, who in the city of Atlanta I need to do a song with that, that? Well, first of all, what's your budget is? Who can you afford? Well, hey, man, right here. But this, this, this like a, um, it's like one of them stock secrets. If you go over here right now, you can catch shot at five cents. I guarantee you're going to go up to a dollar fifty. If somebody came to you and said they had that type of stock with you that you could get, Thousands of stock for a, 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 a penny, a penny, and you know those stocks are gonna rise to be two or three hundred dollars. 
what you want that stock that that that's gonna be for for pennies that's gonna rise to be up a dollar or you gonna want do you or you want to pay the high high for a stock that's gonna rise two or three dollars see so that's um that's what I was bringing to the game, man. I was telling them, hey, man, go over here and do a song with this artist. And um, I guarantee you'll be able to win this community. You'll be able to get to this next level and stuff. And, and that was and that was helping artists. And, and that was helping my, my client, you, you know. Um, that helped to break them. But I also helped put money in other people's artists, in other people's pockets. Because now the artist is getting, is getting paid for his future. You, you know, um, I also tell them, which promoters to go to? Hey man, Shada got this event that they be throwing on. Shada got name one of the uh, she she one of the best out there when it comes time to doing showcases. So you need to be at her showcases and stuff and it, and her open mics and you need to be at a couple different things that she got going on so that you can um network with her and help ride that wave that she got going on and and, and tip in and stuff and help so now that particular person who who has that event that now i'm bringing money to that their direction because people are paying to be on their situation you, you see what i'm saying so that this money is money is circulating and, and i'm helping people make it and stuff but in order but but in order for me to make my client look good i got to do this so that's what I'm telling other artists. You you say you want to break these artists, but you don't want to you don't want them to spend with other people. You gotta let them go spend with other people. Let you be the one that referred them to go spend. That's how you make the power move. You make the power move by doing that. Let them know, hey, I don't want that last fifteen hundred dollars you you got. You understand what I'm saying? Let's take that fifteen hundred and go over here and get to this person. Cause this person gonna make this happen. And when this happen, you're gonna be able to make this back. And then you're gonna be able to spend some more money with me. That's how you supposed to be kind of thinking and stuff. And that's just free game. But I ain't gonna talk to y'all, y'all, man. It's going on thirty minutes of me being out here. Uh, I need to get ready to get prepared. It's gonna be a long night. Uh, I gotta get back on the road. I'm be headed back to Atlanta in the morning. Um, we back in the city, ready to work and, and stuff. Y'all people that's out there, y'all make sure y'all go check out two guys in the camera on, on, on YouTube right now. And continue to support me, man. Continue to support me. Uh, if you got any questions about life, just put it down there in the bottom of the chat, man. And, and, and I guarantee I'm going to start discussing these topics and issues with y'all. With that being said, this grind signing out.